how to solve this problem here is n times n times n equals 1 over 8. Solving for all values of n that satisfies this equation. So let's start by multiplying this left hand side. We have n times n, n power 2 times n. This is n power 3 equals 1 divided by 8. Now, what we can do is to express 1 as 1 times 1 times 1, which is the same thing as 1 power 3. And this is just like 1. Now for 8, I can express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is the same thing as 2 power 3. So we have n to the power of 3 equals 1 power 3, which is 1, divided by 8, which is 2 power 3. Now, if you have a power c divided by p power c, this equals a divided by p to the power of c. So applying this right here, we have n power 3 equals 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3. So from here, I can move this over here and form a cubic equation of n power 3 minus 1 over 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. So from here, we need to solve this, but we can consider this identity. We have a power 3 minus b power 3. This equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2. And in this case, my a is m, and b is 1 over 2. So let's consider this identity in order to expand this. We have n minus 1 over 2 times this n squared plus n times 1 over 2. This is plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So from here, of n minus 1 over 2 times n squared plus n times 1 over 2, that is n over 2, plus this, I can distribute this exponent to each of the terms here, of 1 power 2 divided by 2 power 2, and everything here equals 0. So from here, of n minus 1 over 2 times, this is n squared plus n over 2 plus 1 power 2, that is 1, divided by 2 power 2, that is 4, and this equals 0. So right now, I can equate each of these to 0, as n minus 1 over 2 equals 0, as n squared plus n over 2 plus 1 over 4 equals 0. So we have these two distinct equations that we are going to solve. Now, let's start with this first one here. If you have n minus 1 over 2 equals 0, that means you have n equals 1 over 2. That is my n1. Now, we have this one here, which is a quadratic equation. But before then, we need to find the common LCM of n squared plus n over 2 plus 1 over 4 equals 0. This is over 1. Now the common LCM here is 4. I'll simply have 4 divided by 1, 4, 4 times n squared. Have 4 n squared plus 4 divided by 2, 2, 2 times n. We have 2 n plus 4 divided by 4, 1, 1 times 1, we have 1 equals 0 and this over 1. So right now I can cross multiply. 4 multiplies 0, we have 0, and the whole of this multiplies 1 and I have it again. This is 4n squared plus 2n plus 1 equals 0. Now that we have gotten this quadratic equation, we need to solve, and this is not factorizable. So we can solve using the formula method. Now let's write the formula in respect to n because we are dealing with n variable. We have n equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a sin divided by 2a. a equals 4, which is the equation of n squared. b equals 2, which is the equation of m. 
and c equals one, which is the constant rate. So from here, I have n equals negative p, negative two plus or minus square root of b squared. We have two minus two power two minus four times e times c that is one. Divided by two times a, that's two times four. Our a is four, that's two times four, right? Good, our a is four, not one. So this is two times four. So from here, that's n equals this negative two plus or minus square root of, this is four minus 16, divided by eight. So from here, that n equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is negative 12 divided by 8. So let's isolate this negative. We have n equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 8. So from here we have n equals negative 2 plus or minus. This is i times square root of 12, this is 4 times 3, and this is divided by 8. So from here I have n equals negative 2 plus or minus i times the square root of 4 times square root of 3 divided by 8. So from here I have n equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4, that is 2 times we have root 3 divided by 8. This cancel itself 1, cancel itself 1, cancel itself 4. So I have n equals negative 1 plus or minus i times. This is root 3 divided by 4. So from there, I have n equals this is 1 over 4 of negative 1 plus or minus i times root 3. So we have two complex values for n right now. We simply have n2 equals 1 over 4 of negative 1 plus i times root 3 because we have already gotten our n1 already. And n3 equals 1 over 4 of negative 4 minus i times root 3. So these are the two complex values for n. And we also have one real value for n, which is n equals 1 over 2. Look at it here. So here is the real value for n. It's 1 over 2 here. So at this point, the next thing we can do will be to verify. So you can decide to verify by inserting this particular real value for n. And from here, you have n equals 1 over 2. That means n times n times n equals 1 over 8. So we can decide to insert this particular value for n. 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 equals 1 over 8. So from here, I can multiply the numerator. 1 times 1, 1, 1 times 1, that is 1 divided by 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8 equals 1 over 8. Left hand side equals right hand side. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. And this is how you can solve this type of problem. And that is it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and see you again.